What's up, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Hope you had an amazing, happy day, evening, morning. I don't know what time you're watching this video, but hey, I'm going to react. Let me see. The Ethiopian Coffee Challenge. Master Chef South Africa. Master Chef World. All right. It's going to be my first time to see a challenge of Ethiopian coffee. So, when you mean by coffee, but how do you say Ethiopian coffee when I see the thumbnail of food? Okay. You know what? I'm not going to ask so many questions. Let's see. I think it's a food in the flavor of coffee, right? Let's see. I want to incorporate my coffee with my squash, and I also want to create an Ethiopian He's got pumpkin. Which is called a what? To incorporate coffee in a savory dish already was an offset for me. Not liking coffee was just pushed, made it that much more negative <coughs> for me. Key for this challenge today is the heating sources that they have. Obviously, cooking outside is not the same as cooking in the kitchen. Sure. And the two heating sources that they have is that uh, induction stove and the shakala, that local charcoal cooking equipment that they have. You know, working in the elements, you don't have fridges, you don't have ovens, you don't have. I was expecting coffee when I was opening the video. So I'm seeing food here. What's going on? Jason. Chef. Tell me what you're doing. Uh, chef, I'm doing an Ethiopian inspired lamb dish. Um, I'm going to do just the lamb um, coated in uh, marinade and rosemary yep. uh, with uh, the squash puree, which I've put in sort of a very Thai inspired spice mix uh, cloves, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to do a popcorn, which I'm going to just lightly dust in cayenne pepper and then a coffee jus. Um, coffee only in the jus? Yes, Chef. Okay. Will that coffee jus be enough to tie the whole dish together? Uh, it should, Chef, yeah, yeah. <coughs> You're it. making him to forget what he's I doing. I think this is gonna, gonna be a good one. Good luck, get on it. I'm gonna try and make a smoked squash soup. So I'm smoking the squash with coffee. I'm thinking of perhaps serving some popcorn on the side for a crunch, because you know, you would normally have croutons with the soup or something. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I only had a few pots and they weren't really deep. So I actually ended up inverting one of the lids that I used for my pots as the, the tray to smoke my things on. I don't know how far I want to take it. I want to make sure you get that taste, but I don't want to make it over. So, okay, so what, you're, you're smoking again, yeah. fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. Great idea, what are you using? Are you smoking with? Coffee beans. Coffee beans, ah. Yeah. Nice idea. So you're going to puree this and, and hoping that that smoked coffee is going to come through and that's going to be your coffee element? Yeah. Could go either way. That could be give it a fantastic all-rounded coffee smell or it could smell like burnt coffee. But it's a great risk. A great risk. Great risk. I was also really worried if you underuse coffee, you don't get that taste. So it's actually a really difficult ingredient to use. Great risk. Yeah, she took a risk. That's how it ends. Comedy. Right, what are you making first? Chef, today to take the coffee through each of my components, I've added some coffee and cumin and some spice to the lamb. Added a bit of cumin. Everybody of has the squash, also a bit a of coffee. Pumpkin. Um, before I pop my popcorn, it's also got a bit of that coffee coming through. Nice. Have you tasted everything? <sighs> We're getting there, Chef. I've tasted some of the squash. It's really good. I'm waiting to see if that lamb is cooked. Okay, now coffee. lamb and coffee is a combination you've tried before? I haven't. I know haven't that you? coffee goes quite well with beef. Yes. So, fingers crossed. Well, this is the trick, is trying to balance out that coffee because if it's too bitter and you've put it with the uh, cumin, mm -hmm. now cumin's got okay. its own richness to it as well. Do you think that those two flavours are going to get working together? Holding thumbs to you, Carmen. I hope it all comes together for you. Thanks, Chef. Good luck. Thanks. I haven't really used coffee in a savoury dish before, so this is a first for me. All right, Carmen. Moment of yeah. truth. What have you prepared? So that is a cream cheese with coffee and cumin. Then I've got the lamb, which has got the cumin and the coffee as well. Uh, then I've got this beautiful squash, which has got the coffee, cumin, a little bit of honey, just to balance everything out. I put popcorns in it. <laughs> this is weird. What kind of food is that? certainly cooked very, very well. Let's see your balancing of flavor with coffee and cumin.
The cream cheese with the instant coffee going through has got a nice rich coffee taste. The local squash, you just got that right amount of sweetness. Coffee and cumin works superbly. Very well balanced dish. You've got all the flavours spot on. Intelligent use of the ingredients that you had. Sour, sweet, creamy, overall coffee flavor coming through. Well done. She put popcorns in that food. And she's winning good comments, bro. Interesting. Yeah, I just kind of. She doesn't even look nervous. She's scared. What the heck is that? Pumpkin with beef. Very tasty. But the one thing I'm missing is the coffee in the soup. Yes, you smoked it, but then I don't get that coffee flavor coming through as much as I would have expected it. Some she even looked nervous. Now, you saw? Also not enough to lift this dish and give us that coffee flavor that we're looking for. I thought smoking pumpkin was an ingenious idea. The problem is, you used the coffee beans. He to warned smoke. her. They imparted smoke, but they didn't. He told her you took a flavor. big list. So while I think this is a fabulous soup, I like the textures of the cream cheese, I like the popcorn croutons. I'm just not getting any coffee. If they aren't tasting enough coffee, then that's what they're looking for, and there's, there's absolutely nothing I can change about it. <laughs> you lost. She knew that she lost. Tyron. Chef. Look that is Injera! How do you feel? Yes! I feel good. Um, I try to take the things I like the most about Ethiopia so far mm -hmm. and try to put them into a dish. But one thing I like about Ethiopian food is those injera. Yeah. So I use that. So what I have is a crepe. Inside the crepe is um, caramelized local squash, coffee, cinnamon and nutmeg. I infused a bit of um, chili and chocolate and a bit of cream as well. Well, it certainly resembles injera, but the proof is in the tasting. Yes. Oh, it looks good. Certainly got uh, the local cuisine interpretation of the injera. The crepe, nice and light. Butternut, sweet. Chocolate. Dark, rich chocolate uh, flavor comes through. And I can also get the coffee from the crepe. It has coffee everywhere. Aussie. Yes, chef. What have you prepared for us? I did an Ethiopian style lamb stew. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, Ethiopian a what? Style lamb stew. Uh, what? Oh, he doesn't even cool. know what he was cooking. <laughs> have you used the combination of that coffee correctly? Do you, have you tasted everything? Yes, I've tasted it, chef. He is also nervous. It's got a lot of flavor in it and it's got a lot of spice. Sometimes people can... He doesn't even know what he was cooking, so this guy just lost. But the coffee is just overpowered by that stew and that water. It's just killing the coffee flavor. So no matter where you put that coffee, those spices and that what have just overpowered it totally. Jason, how did you go today? I managed to get the elements on the plate that I wanted to be there, and yeah, I'm just hoping that they, they work in unison together. Take us through what those elements are. I've got the lamb loin, uh, which I've pan seared, the squash puree, then I've done a popcorn with a cayenne pepper for some, for some bite, and then finished it off with a coffee jus as well. Pour away. So there we go, dual sourcing, perfect. Okay. My worry when I was watching you cooking was that the only coffee element you had on this plate was the jus. And if it didn't infuse enough, if you didn't get that coffee flavor into it, 
but I think you've managed to get a lovely subtlety of the coffee into that jus. There's a meatiness to the jus, and there is a balance. The jus works. It's rich, and there's a coffee flavor in that brings out everything in the dish. Good execution. We've decided that we're going to put two people as our top dish winners for today's challenge. Hoping that I'm one of them. I have a feeling that Jason may have pinned me at the post. He's been trying really hard and his dishes always look good. So I think it's him and Kamani. And the names are? Kamani. Kamani. And the boy? And Tyra. Oh. <laughs> the dude won. But Kamani also had something you know, cool, so top, while so she was straight, I even chose her already. Thank you so much for those who just watched that. And I didn't know there's this kind of competitions. Like, wow, it's amazing. I would be in one of them. Guy invite me. I know how to make that Ethiopian coffee flavor, bro. So amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Like and share the video. Go follow me on my new channel. The link is the description for me on instagram team pass uptown facebook team powers uptown my new merchandise is out guys order your t-shirt now at ugandan 70k only if you're in uganda for only locals who are around here so far but for the rest yeah we'll see later but for those who are around here go on my instagram order for your new t-shirt it will be on your door in only two days